Shut up. Up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Welcome back to Game Hammer. Sir Useless is ready to beat this tower. Glad it's still on the controls. We're going to make an attempt on the boss if we can find it. Maybe. If I have a lot of help, I can find it. Okay, yeah, fair enough. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, Kevin and I are also here. I'm John. Sir Useless! 
in a while, you're gonna mess up your hitbox. I'm gonna try it. Do it. See how it goes. Uh, 3K. I'm gonna spend money on. We didn't. I don't think there were any rooms that we really needed. Check. Check for our equipment. I don't think we don't have any blueprints lately. We got a new sword. New sword, dude. New sword is like number yeah. one priority. Do it up. Perfect amount of weight too. Yep. Which means I should probably buy more weights. We have. Uh, a different helmet. This is a trade off between helmet and mana. Okay. Uh, we got. This is where I'm not gonna replace that for a minute. Uh, probably not gonna replace this, but that's just worse. Yeah. And as far as caves goes, I mean, yeah, nothing. Alright, runes. Let's see what we got. We got. Siphon, the first, race, the first two we're not gonna replace. The, the dash and the jump. Yeah. They're kinda set. Um, We've got. Mana. Siphon. Is something we could change over to money. We could. I would do it if I were playing. Yeah, because I don't need the mana right now. Yeah, because we're paying me. Uh, what do we got? We got retaliation. We got haste. We got grace. Uh, bam, this bam, one's bam, really good. Bam, bam, prison is even better we, though. We no, because we want this is both. Yeah, but it's one of each. So you get one HP and MP per kill. That gives you two HP per kill. And you're a barbarian. Uh, fine. What did I check out the cape? Because cape we got a balance room, and that's only money. Then we got so that's a better trade off. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. When I, when I do one of my guys, I just stack balance rooms. Yeah. I um. That's for, a good idea. For a while, I just did five vampire rooms and got like my double jump and dash from equipment, and it worked out pretty well. Wait, you can do that? Yeah. Later equipment has um double jump and dashes on it and stuff. The same way that your blood sword has been. You were huge. On it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is some serious gigantism I got going on. And you can hit you can hit so many guys through so many walls. <laughs> <laughs> or I can just stomp around with my big old feet. Oh shit. Got Zilla on their asses. Godzilla! Expertly dodge. <laughs> the downside about being giant is that it's harder to dodge things because yeah. you have a bigger hitbox. Seriously. All I right. really like your bow. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. It makes me feel nice and uh, pretty. I don't feel so pretty. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. All right. So, oh, there it goes. We're getting spike traps. That's what I was scared of there. Yeah. I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> I think, I think in any game, the, the accidental double jump is the least satisfying thing ever. Like when you when you go to jump off a, a ledge and you don't like you just walk off it by accident and then you immediately yeah. double jump. You yeah. just you just it's like taking a sip of water and getting beer. What? I actually just watched the video where some some guys in Australia took their friend's house, undid all his plumbing, and just attached it to all the beer kegs. <laughs> and beer coming out of all of his faucets. That sounds kind of awful, honestly. I mean, I love beer, but I want to take a shower. Oh, no, no, I'm all sticky and smelly. Yeah, you can't wash your dishes with beer. I mean, I think, I assume. I've never actually tried. Yeah, I mean, let's not knock that until we've tried it, but I would assume so. Hey, guys, hold on. No. <laughs> I don't know if we have enough beer to try that here. You need, like, a bottle or two. That's all you need. He like just has like a bunch right? of kegs like in his crawl space and they just plumbed so everything funny. to these kegs. Damn it. The I've first thing he does is just gets a glass and like opens up the sink and gets a glass of beer. <laughs> yeah. Does he realize it's messed up before he drinks it? I mean, how can you not? Well, it's I, beer. I oftentimes don't look at what I'm putting in the glass. Well, no, because then he starts like, he just thinks it's like the one faucet and he's like looking under the sink for like a cat or something. <laughs> like, That's funny. And then someone goes in like the bathroom and like tries to wash their hands. <laughs> it's just beer. There's just more beer. Uh, was it good beer? Yeah, oh, it was like Newcastle or something. <laughs> I think sorry. that's what Australians drink. That's racist. <laughs> that's not Foster's Australian for beer. <laughs> that's also racist. That's actually not a good that good of a beer. Everybody knows Australians drink spider venom beer to inoculate themselves. <laughs> the only way to survive. Pretty much. I mean, they've got so many de deadly animals on the continent. They have to, uh, they have to uh, ingest the venom so that they don't die every day. Yep. Because I mean, you can't defend yourself when you're sleeping. I, I know they take turns watching overnight, but uh, yeah, shit gets through. Yeah. I mean, spiders are small, and your eyes are not. <laughs> deadly. Unlike your eyes. John, you need to.
to see, but before you leave, you need to see this spider that has made a home in our backyard. Oh man, we have the most badass spider in our backyard. Oh, that's exciting. He it's, built a web. I mean, terrifying. <laughs> he built a web from. Damn, I thought I was gonna dash there. Uh, from our clothesline down to the ground, so it's like this huge web, and he's like the size of a quarter. Yeah, but the web is like, it's like six feet tall. Yeah. And, and wider, like a human's wingspan. Basically, it's crazy. Damn. So, and yet, I did not see a single bug in there over the course of the day. Maybe he just catches them and eats them that fast. Maybe. Oh, he's well, a growing boy. I don't know. Soon he's gonna be the size of a friggin' house cat. <laughs> That's can terrifying. You, can you keep him? I'm probably not allergic. <laughs> probably not. I'm allergic to cats, but not spiders. So. At least, at least as far as you know, I've never been. I don't know. I don't know what kind of spiders they are, but they're like everywhere around here. And they're terrifyingly huge. They get gigantic, like, out of nowhere, all of a sudden, there'll just be, like, this giant spider who's made a huge web I, on your front porch. I refuse to park in that parking spot that you normally park in, the one right against the shed, because yeah. there's just all those spiders all along the rooftop. I didn't see them. Have fun! <laughs> no, I don't want to park there anymore. You can make it from here. Yeah! yeah. Big room! Alice room sword! Now to get back out. <laughs> I guess gigantism probably makes your feet box bigger, so you can land on those easier. Yeah, it feels like this is easier than it was before, but maybe that's because I got better. That's nice. But it does feel like it was easier than the last time. And don't look a giant gift horse in the mouth. Just appreciate it. <laughs> so I appreciate you, giant gift horse. Please do not step on me. Giant gift horse. So I think... I think because you're huge, if you fall far enough, it like does a thing on the ground. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Uh, uh, one, at one point, you landed on the ground and it did like it did uh, like a like a dust cloud came out. Maybe, and maybe, that's, or anything. maybe that's just a thing that like randomly happens on certain falls. Maybe. I don't know. Music box, pistol trip. Yeah, fuck you. 